Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. Yes, today's video, four amazing Bitcoin charts, a trading tip, a travel tip, live advice, talking about the news because something really cool happening in Japan and answering one of the questions. Yes, walking and talking, not the beach, but the white snow here in Sierra Nevada. Look at that amazing view behind me. That's the village. That's the village, Sierra Nevada over there. I'm a little bit higher, so I have an amazing view, guys. Let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what's happening to Bitcoin because yesterday and the day before I was right we were going to visit around the 70k and we did visit 68k again with that pump I hope you bought the dip now let's check what the charts have to say today Bam. the first chart for today guys of course this four hour chart check this four hour chart wasn't I right yesterday I told you in between these green lines, we were finding support. A buy signal happened. The white line was at 32. I told you it could go up again. Um, we could go down, lower, but we didn't go lower many times. So we went up and look where we are visiting. We are visiting that next green line. Those two green lines are very important at the moment. I've been showing you these for weeks already. That's just in between two massive support and resistance areas. We hit that line again around here, around 68, 68, 220. And um, yes, again resistance so we fall back in my honest opinion we will keep moving in between these levels which of course is perfectly tradable and um, the moment we break this massive volume over there at 68,000, that is when we will visit 70k levels again and there is indications on the charts that we will visit these levels very soon but i'm going to show you this on different charts but before I do that, I will show you also a bearish scenario because there is also bearish people, the bears in this industry, and they think we could fall even lower because they compare the bull market at the moment, all the growth that we've done, just look at the color circles, with the Wall Street cheat sheet. And I need to agree with them, it really looks like this Wall Street um, cheat sheet, that's a psychology of a market cycle. Look at that blue, look at that purple, look at that red, and we are falling down and we are bouncing at the moment and that bounce could be a bounce before we drop even lower that would bring us to high lows of around 40k as you can see over here or even 30k now i really don't see this happening on the bull market i think he is now comparing this chart to a day chart over here on top you can see this and in my honest opinion if you want to compare it to the bull market you should be comparing it to a weekly chart or even a monthly chart because the bull market is going to take one to two years so on the daily chart i'm agreeing with him yes we can have a pullback not to 40k levels but i do believe to 60 and between 55 and 60k levels that is of course definitely possible but for me we are just getting started in the bull market, so let's continue to a little bit more bullish charts. This chart is showing you exactly there's a lot of liquidations happening over there between 69k and 75k. So this is a liquidation heat map. On these maps you can see if we visit these levels of the Bitcoin price, how many volume is being liquidated, how many people that are now in a short will be liquidated because the Bitcoin price went the other side. This is CoinGlass. You can find it on the website CoinGlass. Now, mostly we do visit these levels, just like I told you yesterday. When we visit all the other liquidation levels, as you can see here, we broke all of them to be liquidated all along. Now, I told you yesterday, we will go up again to these levels to liquidate all those shorts. That is just how the market moves. That is why TA is so important. This chart is showing you that dips are completely normal in a bull market. That's why I keep repeating, stop crying, start buying. Because these dips have been there always. This is a 2016-17 bull market. 43% dip, 40% dip, 34%, 34%, 40%, 41%, 31%. You, can have, you could have been selling your Bitcoins at each and every of these dips because you were afraid, because you had weak hands, and you wouldn't have made all these profits to the bull market top. Now 2020-21, the last bull market, 23%, 15%, 30%, 23%, again 26%. All of these dips you could have been selling, but you wouldn't have made it to the top. Now again in this bull market, 22%. 20%, 22%, 22%, 15% so far, and we are bouncing again. So don't let these dips get you out of the market. 
these dips are part of a bull market. Here it started in 2016 and the top took all the way to December 2017. That's two years of runs and dips. Here, the whole bottom started here in February 2019 and the top was in 2021. Again, two years of pumps and dips. This was of course also a pump and this was of course a 60% dip. So two years of bull market. Now here, the bear market bottom was in in 2023. It will take two years of bull market till 2025. And those two years will be full with runs and dips. Corrections as we call them, they are needed for the Bitcoin price to go higher and higher and higher. And then this amazing chart, I found it on Twitter. It's a weekly chart on Bitstamp, this one. Um, 2015, 2019, 2023, four years in between, as you can see. 2015 plus 4 is 2019 plus 4 is 2023. Uh, we can see this area that we go sideways into the yellow box, halving is the blue line. Sometimes we get a pullback in the blue, uh, after the halving because then we were very bullish and then the Bitcoin market starts to take a rest a little bit before it starts to pump even higher into the green box into a new bull market top. And from the halving to the top took 74 bars, 518 days in 2015. In 2019, we can see the same again here, this part in the pinkish box, first the yellow pump, then the pinkish box, then into the green box, it took 78 bars, 546 days to the bull market top. Now in 2023, we see again the same. We are coming up with an uptrend into the yellow box. The halving will happen soon. Will this now again be a retrace in the halving? Or is this time going to be different and are, going to, and are we going to continue even higher? At least if it again takes 74 or 78 days between 518 and 546 days, we will end somewhere in September 2025. Just like I've been sharing my chart already for months to a year. That is my target for the bull market top, September 2025. And all these numbers are showing exactly the same. The only thing that is different is that this yellow box is really high and already breaking the autumn high before the halving. Normally we break the autumn high after the halving in this area. So that is the only difference. Let's see if we get a huge retrace. I don't think, I think this pinkish box will be a small pinkish box and then into green, bam, up all the way to above 100K. Beautiful charts. I hope you really enjoy the charts. Yes, short term, beautiful volatility against the trade to take some profits. Look at the indicators that we as the Bitcoin family provide if you become a VIP. To become a VIP, go to the bitcoinfamily.com and check the products menu and you will find the shop where you can buy all kinds of cool t-shirts, hoodies, all Bitcoin related stuff, also uh, caps and of course beanies. But also you will find the VIP program, the free one and a paid one. And the paid one gives you access to all the indicators, gives you access to the VIP signal group, gives you access to the VIP telegram group gives you access to the courses and way more guys for a very little amount of BTC now uh, long term you saw exactly what is playing out in Bitcoin don't let them freak you out don't let them sell your weekends the bull market is just beginning all the indicators the RSI the Pi cycle top the MVRV and every other indicator that I use in my videos is telling us the bull market top is not near we are just getting started. So please don't be fooled. It's still a beautiful moment to accumulate Bitcoin. I will tell you exactly when I'm exiting my portfolio into stable coins. But until that moment, guys, keep stacking sets. Bam. The trading tip for today is a simple one. Please keep an eye on all the liquidations levels in this industry because these liquidation levels are there to become liquidated. It's simple as that. There's a lot of shorts and a lot of longs being done with leverage trading and not everyone can make profit. So now and then the bears and the bull will liquidate each other. And that's what I see on the charts. I can see that there's a shitload of liquidations happening around 70K. We didn't visit 70K yet. 
just 68k so i think there's still upward potential to visit 70k if you look at the liquidation levels so please find the best website for you that shows you all these liquidation levels and start to keep an eye on them daily and also comment down below which website you're using so that everyone can learn from each other i also want to learn from you which website do you use check the liquidation levels that was the trading tip for today The travel tip for today guys is always ask for discounts and I know you don't need the discount and I also know that I don't need the discount but I just like the play of negotiating so I will always ask a discount. I told you yesterday I was going to buy this Leatherman. I did buy the Leatherman. For all those that don't know what a Leatherman is, this is the Leatherman. So this is this is knife that you can, you know, flip over and like do it like this and then you have all kinds of tools and knives and everything in it so when i was in the store i was asking for a discount this guy was like hey you are needed from the bitcoin videos i watch your videos i'm yes you don't need a discount he's like but i want the discount that's something completely different so he needed to laugh he gave me discount like two percent discount or something so that's how i play the game i just love to play the game of negotiating i want discount give me discount also in the restaurants i will always tell them yesterday we were in a very luxury restaurant i told them hey it's a very expensive t-bone steak and i don't believe these are the, t the kilograms that <laughs> that you're mentioning and he's like smiling are you really going to weigh it do you need a weighing you know i just want a discount and they always smile and sometimes you get a discount yesterday at the restaurant we got a five percent discount because i promised him hey i will come back more often because the food and the wine was amazing so always ask discounts while traveling that's how you keep a country cheap and that's how you make also sure that that country won't undergo inflation now very simple always negotiate that was a travel tip for the day. Answering a question of one of the followers, why I walk down to a beautiful part as well. You can see the water, the snow is melting because there's a lot of water coming down here. Um, I will look for a safe place, safe place to show you this over here. But the question was, Didi, is quantum computing dangerous? Um, why would quantum computing be dangerous? Check how beautiful. A small stream over here. It's coming all the way from up there, of course. But his question was, Didi, is quantum computing dangerous? And I'm like, why would quantum computing be dangerous? If quantum computing would be dangerous for Bitcoin, don't you think that the Bitcoiners and the Bitcoin companies that are managing the Bitcoin blockchain won't introduce quantum computing as well? I do think that the Bitcoiners are ahead in evolution of technology. So if quantum computing becomes something that we all will be using or will be able to use, then believe me that the Bitcoin network is one of the first networks that will start to adapt quantum computing as well. We will find an evolution of technology again that will support quantum computing for the Bitcoin blockchain. We are ahead of governments, we are ahead of central banks, we are ahead of all the slowly working entities that are very centralized. They need to discuss level by level by level if they can start to use quantum computing. So yes, we as peaceful anarchistic Bitcoiners will be adapting quantum computing before anyone else on this world will. That's how we fight for freedom in a very peaceful way. So that's my answer to your question. I think we will adapt the technology before other people will. The huge news for today, guys, is that the Japan government investment fund for their pensions is willing to look at Bitcoin as an investment. The Japan government pension fund is the biggest pension fund of the whole world. And they are now also looking into investing into Bitcoin. This is massive news because we know this will lead to even more demand. Because if they want to start accumulate Bitcoin as well, aside of the banks, aside of the spot ETFs, aside of the retail investors, aside of all the other people, countries, governments, now even pension funds, the largest one of the world, want to accumulate Bitcoin, we all know that that will increase the demand tremendously but there is no more supply. All the Bitcoins are being bought up in a daily way. Only Grayscale is still one of the parties that's dumping their Bitcoins massively. Like a couple of days ago, again, they dumped over 6,000 Bitcoins. But all the other spot ETFs are buying up as much as possible Bitcoins. Retail investors are buying up as much as possible uh, Bitcoins. And now maybe even the biggest pension fund of the world, the Japanese government pension fund, will start to accumulate Bitcoin. This is going to propel Bitcoin to heights we can't even imagine yet. 
because the demand is going too big for the supply. There won't be more Bitcoins. And from April, mid-April, there will only be 450 new Bitcoins mined per day. If the demand is 10,000 to 15,000 Bitcoins per day, we all know what that will lead to. It will lead to an explosive jump in the price of Bitcoin. So be sure that you keep up to date of all these governments, pension funds, trading, and, uh, trading companies, etc. that want to accumulate Bitcoin and that announcing that they will accumulate Bitcoin, even BlackRock announcing something new about a fund again, because that will all create buying pressure. And when the buying pressure becomes too big, because there is no supply, that will lead to an explosive run in Bitcoin price. News of today, Japan, let's do it. And then the last part of the video, of course, the inspirational part, guys. The secret of life is not always doing what you want, but always wanting what you do. It's very simple. Just enjoy what you do to the fullest. Just want the thing that you're doing at that moment. Don't look into the future, what you want to do, what you want to achieve, what you want to do tomorrow, what you want to do next week, what you want to do next year. Because you can't enjoy the future. You can only enjoy the thought of the future. But if you want to enjoy today to the fullest, you need to want what you're doing. Just very simple, whatever it is that life brings you, if it is skiing or climbing the Kilimanjaro or it is just doing your job or it is whatever it is, just want the thing that you're doing that will lead a little bit more to happiness than not wanting the thing that you are doing. Because if you don't want the thing that you're doing, then stop doing it. Then give up that job, then give up that study, then give up whatever it is that you don't want to do. Because you should be focusing on wanting what you do. It will make your life way more simple. And I know it sounds really difficult now because it's a lot of wanting, doing, doing, and wanting, and doing, and wanting, and wanting to do. But it's very simple. Find your passion. Do your passion because that is what you want to do. And then you will daily be doing what you want to be doing. And if you're doing that, it will lead to happiness, to way more happiness than accumulating a shitload of money or a shitload of bitcoins. Because yes, money is nice, but it won't give you the internal happiness that you're searching for. It will only make life a little bit more easy when you go to a fancy restaurant or you want to buy a car or you want to buy a house. But all those materialistic things I already had before my Bitcoin adventure, it didn't make me happy. The thing that made me happy is changing our lifestyle completely with our family because that is the thing that we wanted to do. We didn't want to run the hamster wheel anymore. And if you don't want to do that, you need to escape the hamster wheel. So we changed our life. And by changing the life, on a daily basis, we were doing what we wanted to do. And that gave us the internal happiness. And from that, everything started happening by itself. Every step just happened because we were doing exactly what we wanted to be doing. Not running the hamster wheel, not working for a job that we didn't like, not bringing our kids to school because we didn't want to have them brain raped or brain washed, whatever you call it. We wanted to change life and we changed life. And after that, the whole Bitcoin story came. And after that, even the Bitcoin story became bigger. And after that, we are even now having a series on Amazon Prime. But that was not the goal in the beginning, to become filthy rich on Bitcoins. The goal was to change life, to become happy internally, as a person feel happy. Not about what we have, but about what we are. We didn't like anymore who we were in the Netherlands. We were becoming very materialistic people. They were only hunting for more, for bigger cars, bigger houses. And for what? Just to impress those people that even didn't give a fuck about us. When we realized that, that it was not for ourselves, and that a trip to Thailand, three months on the beach with a couple of backpacks, no luxury at all, made us way more happy than all the luxury we had in the Netherlands, that is when it snapped. That is when we understood. Life is not just about accumulating wealth. Life should be about accumulating happiness. And if we want to teach our kids that life should be about accumulating happiness, we should lead by example as a parent. And that is why we took all the steps. That's why we started to lead by example as a parent. That's why we grabbed life by the balls and showed the kids it's not just about money. We will live a minimalistic lifestyle without luxury and still be happy. And the kids have experienced that lifestyle. Even if we had the Bitcoins, even if we had the capital, 
We still don't own Lamborghinis. We still don't own big houses. We still enjoy life to the fullest. And the kids know exactly now what life is about. We should lead by example as a parent. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about everything? The charts and the tips and also the live advice. And yes, we are almost at 70K subscribers. We need another 500 subscribers and we have 70K subscribers. Yes, then we are higher than Bitcoin. And then we need to go to 75K as quick as possible. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Bam.